Hi, John from the Historic Game Shop here. In this third video explaining historic dice games, I'm going to concentrate on the game of Hazard. Alfonso X, also known as Alfonso the Wise and Alfonso the Great, was King of Castile, Leon and Galatia and had translated from an Islamic manuscript a book of games to which he had added contemporary illustrations of games being played. The book contained ten dice games, some simple and some more complicated. Hazard and variations on the game were some of the games described. The name Hazard probably derives from the Spanish Azar, meaning an unfortunate dice roll, which in turn comes from the Arabic word Azar, meaning dice, or Yazara, he played at dice. Hazard became very popular in medieval Britain, though the rules were not described. It is mentioned by name in literature more than any other dice game, most notably in Chaucer's Pardoner's Tale, and in medieval illustrations of dice playing, more often than not, three dice are being used. Alfonso's Hazard games used three dice, and so it is a fair assumption that medieval Hazard was a three dice game, possibly some variation on Alfonso's Half Hazard game, which I shall describe a little later. The popularity of Hazard does not diminish later in history and it becomes one of the most important gambling games of the 17th and 18th century. By this time the rules to games were being written down and Charles Cotton in his Complete Gamester of 1674 describes the rules using two dice rather than three. The game known in Alfonso's book of games as Hazard is a game for two players using three dice. The hazard, or winning numbers, are the four lowest numbers, 3, 4, 5 and 6, and the four highest, 15, 16, 17 and 18. Bets are placed at the start. Player 1 rolls the three dice, attempting to get a hazard number, winning bets if he is successful. If not, the number he rolled becomes a re-hazard number. Player 2 rolls the three dice, attempting to get a hazard number, winning bets if he is successful. If not, the number he rolled also becomes a re-hazard number. If the players roll the same number, called evens, this also becomes a winning number. Player 1 rolls the three dice again, attempting a hazard number or re-hazard number, and then player 2 does the same. The player to roll the winning number, a hazard, re-hazard or evens, wins the bets placed. If a player rolls his opponent's re-hazard number, then he loses, and the opponent wins the bets. Now, let's see a few games in play. The game known as Half Hazard in the Alfonso manuscript is possibly the game closest to that played in medieval Britain as Hazard.
it is more translatable into the later two dice game than the hazard game that we have just described. It is a game for two players with three dice, but it is possible to play the game with more than two players. The hazard or winning numbers are 7 or below and 14 or above. The numbers in between, 8 to 13, are called middle numbers. Player 1 rolls the three dice. If he rolls a hazard number, he wins a coin. If he rolls a middle number, this becomes his nick, which ends his turn in subsequent rolls, but he keeps his winnings. He rolls again, winning a coin with a hazard number and ending his turn with his nick. But if he rolls a different middle number in the second roll, this becomes his out, the number he ends his turn on, but also losing any winnings in that turn. The player continues to roll, winning on a hazard and then re-rolling, ending his turn on his nick and winning, or his out and losing, or re-rolling on any other middle number. Player 2 then rolls the dice. In Alfonso's raised hazard, the rules of play are the same, but the number of coins won increases for each hazard number rolled sequentially. So a player might win one coin for the first hazard rolled, and then two if the next number rolled is a hazard also, and then three for the next one, and so on. This concludes our look at the dice games of Alfonso the Wise but we will continue with the story of Hazard with a look at the game as it was played in the 17th century.
The game of hazard played from the 17th century is a game for two or more players using two dice. It has greater similarities to Alfonso's half hazard than the game he describes as hazard. Players may bet with the player rolling or may place bets between themselves on the outcome of any roll. The game is based around rolling a main number, which are the numbers 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. Associated with each main number are nicks, by which a player wins, outs, by which he will lose, and chances. Player 1 rolls the dice attempting to roll a main. If successful, he continues. If not, he passes the dice to the left. If player 1 rolls a main, then bets are placed that he will win or lose on the next roll. So, player 1 rolls again. If he rolls the nick, he wins all bets placed. If he rolls an out, he loses. If he rolls a chance, he can roll again, and more bets are placed. If on this roll, he rolls the same chance number, he wins all bets, and his turn ends. If he rolls the main, he loses. But if he rolls any other number, he rolls again, until he either rolls his main, and is out, or his chance, and he wins. In some variations of this game, players rolling the dice may call out their main number at the start of their turn rather than to attempt to roll one. This ensures that the player always has a chance of winning. A probable early variation of the game has no chance numbers. Players simply winning and losing on nicks and outs, in a similar way to half hazard, but played with two dice, so reducing the number range. This game may be close to the early post-medieval three-dice game and be transitional between this and the game played in the 17th century. Thank you for watching this video. Our next video will look at a few dice games popular in the Tudor period and up to the 17th and 18th centuries. If you would like to subscribe to the Historic Game Shop YouTube channel, you can receive updates on when our latest videos are released. See you soon.